Hello and welcome to Game God Fluent YouTube channel. This is Fluent here, and uh, today we're starting a new Let's Play. We're taking a look at a new game that is releasing soon in March. Uh, this is the beta version for the full game, but it is the full game. So we're going to be playing the actual full game that's uploaded to Steam um, that only the demo is out for right now. We're going to be playing Tortured Hearts, or How I Saved the Universe Again. So a little forward before, uh, forward before we start. I don't know a lot about the game. We're going to be kind of playing together and learning it as we go. And I'm hoping that my RPG senses can be sharp enough to just figure it out as we go. And also, uh, it was made by Zoltan Gonda, who I speak with via email. Uh, he made Tortured Hearts 1 and 2 for Neverwinter Nights. He made them as Neverwinter Nights modules. And I actually played and completed Tortured Hearts 1 uh, in a playlist on my YouTube channel. You can find that in my playlist section. I completed it. It took about 93 videos. Huge game. Uh, that's the thing with Zoltan. He makes huge games, huge RPGs with a lot of twists and turns and a lot of loot and a lot of cool stuff. So they're huge games. So this is going to be huge. Um, like I said, I don't know a lot, so if you're looking for someone who knows everything about the game, then this is not your video. This is for someone who's just playing, kind of having fun, and figuring it out as we go. So, um, apologize for any background noise. We're going to jump into Tortured Hearts, or How I Save the Universe Again. So when you hit play, this box pops up. Um, I'm playing in 1080p, fantastic quality, it's the highest. And you can change your input on the keys, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just play. Let's see what Zoltan Ganda has in store for us. I mentioned he's a very cool guy. He's very nice, too. He helped me a lot with my Tortured Hearts 1 playthrough. Um, devilish RPG design sometimes by him. I expect nothing less than this game. I am drinking a soda, and I'm about to spark up a cigarette here. Oh, let's see what he's got in store. Game Psych Presents. Tortured Hearts are how I save the universe. Again. Cool. We're greeted with this little entry video, and um, it's now loading. If at first you don't succeed, try a different approach. That is true in Tortured Hearts 1 for Neverwinter Nights. This, of course, is his own game made from scratch. It does not rely on the Neverwinter Nights tool set in any way. This is a full, complete game. And I've been told by Zoltan that it offers several hundred hours of gameplay. Instead of the typical maybe 100 to 150, it's talking several hundred hours, so it's a huge RPG. It's going to be a ton of fun. All right, we're greeted with this cute little intro screen. Let's check out the settings one time. Uh, render quality rich. That's the highest. Everything looks good here. Sound. We do want to turn the reverb on. Gameplay. Target our item comparison tool tips. Everything looks good here, and there's a help section which we'll probably refer to, so let's get out of there. Let's start a new game. Jump right in. 2.0 Character Generation 1 On the first screen, you can select your protagonist's fate, race, and gender. They determine many things, even some of your options in the game. There are items in the game that has gender or racial restrictions. Got it. Okay, so we've got Human Male. We've got human female, dwarf male, and dwarf female, and that is the races in the game. So I'm going to be human male. Males, bigger, stronger, better fighters, whatever the race, but a little more awkward, a little slower with the witty retort, a little less able to win others over on sheer appearance. This is the hand that they are dealt. Males have naturally have a 10% XP handicap when training social skills and 10% XP bonus when training combat skills. It isn't written in stone, however. There are ways to overcome the natural handicap if you work hard. So that's interesting. Male and female are different. Humans are the most common race. They fill the great middle of possibility with their generally good but not exceptional stats. Not too big, not too small, curious, and adaptable and persevering. 
Fortunately, they are accepted fairly well by all the other races, which has allowed them to spread themselves to every corner of the universe. Their interests also cover the gamut of possibility, and in every area at least a few humans have risen to top ranks. Their chief weakness is a relatively short lifespan. So racial training bonuses, panning minus 20% XP, intelligence minus 20% XP, racial training pan- oh those are bonuses, I'm sorry. So that's plus 20% XP to panning, plus 20% XP to INT, which I assume is intelligence. Racial training penalty, bravery maybe? is 15% XP penalty. Alright, so we're going to be a human male. Character Gen 2. A character can exist without a name and an archetype. Here you can adjust both of these. Also, a toggle can determine if your party members can fall in love with you. The other one can disable companion banner completely, which may be desirable when replaying the game. Once started, these can't be changed. Got it. Alright, so the age... I'm an older chap, I'm going to be 35. Let's see the archetype. We've got fighter generic, fighter melee, fighter small melee, fighter large melee, fighter ranged, fighter barehanded, like a monk, a caster, a healer, a bard, a rogue, and a psionic. I'm going to be a rogue, actually. The undisputed masters of traps, locks, and well, some of them are masters of other people's pockets. This is why they're so contradictory. Well, it's up to you what walk of life you leave. I'm going to leave on Companion Love and Companion Banner. Let's search for some names. Derek. Desmond Wells. That sounds pretty good. Can we alter the appearance in any way? I don't think so. We can just rotate our character a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's jump into it. This is where, don't rush to raise skills as soon as you can afford them. The experience points might come in handy later. This is where it's going to get a little intricate and interesting. Moving around. Movement is easy. Use the ADW keys to advance and the mouse to rotate the camera view. Your protagonist and the party will follow the camera on a loose leash. If you press the right mouse button, the main radio menu appears. If you target an interactive object and press the right mouse button, you'll see a special radio menu. The second control scheme found in the option menu works a little differently. By slightly spinning the mouse wheel, you can start or stop the camera. Everything else works the same as the first game. Got it. Stat customization. You are given a basic set of random stats here, but feel free to readjust them from scratch. In order to achieve that, you'll have to reset them by the reset crystal. You can do that anytime you want, or on the character sheet, you can invoke You can invoke by pressing C or using the radial menu. Just use the reroll option to make a suitable character. Got it. Alright, so... Let me back out the camera a little bit. So if we press C, this is our character sheet, and this is a random roll. We can actually press F8 to re-roll our stats, and get another completely random roll. As it says in the bottom, re-roll 1. What I'm actually going to do is not roll random stats, but I'm going to come to the stat resetter. These are all skills, by the way, Affinity Acrobatics. We'll get to this in a second. Let's go to the Stat Resetter. Be careful of conversation. Be careful what you say, but eventually don't restrain yourself from trying various options. Maybe there's a better one for you. Conversation is very important in Tortured Hearts. This is the main method you can soldier your way through the story. Some options check your skills, attributes, money, alignment, name, or other statistics of yours. So lots of skill checks. All right, we're going to reset all stats. All right, your stats have been reset. So let's find a skill here that we want to... be our primary skill. Traps, swim, stealing, sneak, musical knowledge, psionics, dirty tricks, search, ranged weapons, lots of choices, magical knowledge. Lockpick, large melee weapons, uh, bargain. Let's go with bargain. Alright, so we can we have to set a bonus. Uh, we'll set it as bargain, and then we have to set a penalty. I don't know if we have to, but we could. So we get a bonus to bargain, and then a penalty to say... Mm, healer. Which we're not really going to use, so we'll get a bo we'll get a bonus to bargain at the sake of 
a penalty to healer. And we can set our skill affinity. Do we have a lesser affinity, which means that they're, they're, it's a lesser bonus and a lesser penalty? Or do we have a greater affinity? I'm going to click greater affinity. Now, there's our character. We're going to press C and do our stats. So this is going to take a while. Uh, I haven't actually done this before, but let's get into it. Let's see, dexterity plus one. Uh, let's go ahead and get bargain plus one. Your intellect is too low. Okay, so that's intellect. Let's go ahead and raise our intellect. And then we can raise bargain. Your intellect is still too low. Alright, let's raise intellect again. Here's our XP pool, by the way. We're down to 86,000. Bargain skill to level one. All right, let's um. Hmm. What about ah communication? For sure, your intellect is too low, so we're gonna have to raise intellect again. It's communication. Can we raise communication again? Yes. Level, level two. Okay, that's costing a lot. Can we? can't backtrack. Okay, let's look at a sideline, which seems to be like the material crafting, junk art, alchemy, gold panning, mining, herbalist. Let's go ahead and be an herbalist. Alright, so I guess we're going to want some agility for combat. We're going to want I don't know what app is. See, I don't really know what this stuff is. Disadvantage, we have Rat Phobia, Season Adventure, Archetype Rogue. I guess you can put points into that. Deeds, Food for Boosting, Boasting, this and that. Okay, and that's pretty cool. Stat 2. It's a combat stats. Alright. Um. Let's get a point in strength. Let's see what brave. Okay, bravery. That's what it is. Appeal. Yes, we want appeal because we're going to be doing some communication. Um, how about let's get search up. Let's get lock pick up. Your dexterity is too low. Alright, let's raise dexterity. So this goes along pretty smoothly. As you kind of figure it out. Um, contraption sounds cool. Stealing. I want to try my hand at stealing. Small melee weapons. I think we're going to need a point of that. See bravery. Let's get a point of. Let's get another point of lock. I have a point of dirty tricks, I guess, for being a rogue. Um, let's get another point of stealing. I guess that's like lock picking. How about traps do? Your agility is too low. Okay, let's raise agility. Let's raise traps. Agility is still too low. I don't have enough experience for agility. Okay. So we can't deal with traps. Um, I have 6,000 XP left. I think that's going to be about it. Um... How about a point in contraptions? Your dexterity is too low, we can't raise that. Can we raise small melee weapons again? Yes, that's good. And search again? Yes. Okay, we're down to 250, so that looks like our main character here. So we're good at stealing from people's pockets, we can search the area, we're good with small melee weapons, we can lockpick, we have dirty tricks, we're good at communicating, we have a little bit of bargain, and uh, herbalism. So let's jump into the game, it's really that simple. Follow this out of here. 
Look at this big old crystal. Light at the end of the tunnel. There's a towering light shaft ahead. You reach out and feel a cold rush of pain surging down your spine. You touch it and crawl ahead. Start the game. Awesome. This is so cool. I love that stat rolling at the beginning. I love stats in RPGs. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that by now. If you're not, well, welcome. Just hang around a bit and play with me. If you like Tortured Hearts, please tell others. More support means more games in the future. So I'm doing my part. Let's tell some people about this game. It's going to be really cool. Alright, tutorial journal. The journal keeps track of your quests, party members, and lore you can find in the world. If you are stuck, this is a good place to refresh your thoughts. Some information can give you good ideas on where to go and what to do. In order to access the journal, use the radio menu's journal icon or press J. Got it. Okay, plot line. So what the hell's going on? It's nighttime. We're in a pile of dung. Let's examine the dung. Your fate is cast in dung. Can I search the dung? Nudge the dung? No. Okay, let's check out the journal and see what that says. Plot lines. So what the hell's going on? Waking up with a hangover and a pile of dung has to be the low point of my life so far. That's the result of losing my head and taking too many risks at the gambling table. Seems like I lost everything, including my memory of the details, and now I am the most miserable seasoned adventure you could imagine. How could this actually happen? I'm at my wit's end, trying to understand why my ever-famous discernment didn't warn me. It's shameful to be reduced to the level of a beginner. I was just looking for a little excitement, now I have to reestablish my reputation and self-esteem. Not to mention my inventory. Okay, so let's look around. We've got a fishing site, a panning site, a pig boss. This is the tavern's well. Let's look around. Black barrel. Tutorial containers. Containers can be chests, barrel, cupboards, loot bags, corpses, and many others. You can leave any of your stuff in them, they won't disappear, but if you want to store plot critical items, you have to use chests reserved in your in rooms. Okay. There's actually nothing in the black barrel. And I happen to have torches, and that's it. Okay. Let's come back here. Plant. Arrow Ara. Sidelines. Crafting is an excellent way to fetch things that would otherwise be very difficult or nearly impossible. Your skills will help you find the proper ingredients. Without them, you'll have to rely on your scrunching skill, which isn't the best way for sure. In each big area, there is a crafting expert who will help you with ingredients and information. In order to create things, you'll have to find the necessary equipment in dungeons and other locations. If you don't need an ingredient or product, you can sell them for a nice price. Got it. Okay, you haven't found anything. The arrow ara bush provides the ingredient for the basic invigorating potion. Hmm. What was that? Okay, we haven't found anything again. Kind of dark out here, so let's. head into the tavern and see what's cooking. See what's cooking in the tavern. Maybe someone here knows what's going on. Options. The option panel will let you adjust video, sound, gameplay settings, and may remind you of an important aspect of the panel in the game. Got it. Tavern Keeper sings softly. Veteran Mercenary. Use a soap or something. Tavern Keeper. Your journal's been updated. Generic cleaning. The wine is definitely bad here, but in the mug, meh. Alright, cleaning up my act. Oh, I'm so filthy no one in town will talk to me. I need a good bath with some strong soap. Okay. Hmm, I've run out of herbs. Quick and dirty booze, ham and tasty eggs. Big ear pie. That noble lady is very strange indeed, says the tavern keeper. Nothing in the barrel. 
No one will talk to me. I can hardly endure your fragrance. Cask wash tub. Can I use this? Soap! But I think it's a crime if I take it, right? There's like an exclamation point next to it. Let's save first. Are they going to get mad if I take their soap? Let's test it. Okay, my journal's been updated. It's good to know I can actually use the soap to clean the dishes, but I need it worse. And let's go out and use that well. Eugene is so lazy these days. So this seems to me like it's going to be a huge Elder Scrolls types of adventure. It's really going to be something. So hang in tight, we're going to play a lot of it. I may try to finish it, I may be that crazy to try to finish it. Outskirts of the treasure on the camp. Where was that well? Here we are. Okay. This is the tavern's well. You prepare the soap to wash yourself. Could this be more humiliating? For a while. Good job. Hmm, I could have washed myself in that pool over there, but obviously I like making myself complicated. My life complicated. Oh, there was a pool. Oh, pond side. Uh, that's kind of a dirty pond, though. Acquired an herb. Arrow Ara, nice. Alright, so now that I'm clean, they'll actually talk to me, I think. So let's head back in. If I could figure out where I was. There we are. Let's see what the tavern keeper has to say. Now they'll talk to me, I think, because I don't smell like dung. Sit by the fire. You're Hello there. Salt I'm terribly sorry about what happened to you at the gambling table. Crap happens sometimes. But not in my tavern. It was so embarrassing to watch your downfall. So why didn't you do something? You might have saved me. You should have just told me to stop. Um, adventurers are such erratic people. One never knows when an inconsiderate remark may result in mayhem. Never mind, it was all my fault. Something that would never have ever happened if I kept to my principles. I can say nothing other than, welcome back to the open cast. Thanks. You received 60 XP. Where have I put that ladle? <laughs> Don't get in my way, please. I'm a guest of the cask. Good for you. I expect you to. I expect you not to bother me, adventurer. Pfft. Dwarves love them to death, but sometimes they have an attitude. Yes, you can. Scorpion Adventure. Ah. Highwaymen make me a bit nervous. Can I go upstairs? I can. You can train your team as you wish, or you can let them follow their own inclinations. Good to know. Let's check out the upstairs a little bit. Let's see who's staying here. Check out some black barrels. Nothing. Alright, room number one. Can we go in? Well, this room. Oh, Exalted Bar. Hello. So much bloodshed. With a wide grin on his ugly face. Good day to you. Even if we both know that you theoretically are not allowed to enter strangers' rooms. Sorry, I didn't mean to violate your space. No offense taken. I'm glad there are still polite people in the realm. 
Politeness is a point of pride in our family. Even better. Your alignment has inclined toward good. You've received 300 XP. You know, I... So much bloodshed. Oh. Could you tell me something about... About care made? No, I don't think so. I only arrived a few days ago, so it'd be very unwise of you to ask me for information. A bit amazed. Oh, it's very kind you of you not to just feed me some tall tale. My mother was an exceedingly educated person, you know, quite a scholar for a woman who taught me manners as well as letters. Really, your story must be very interesting. Care to share it with me? You're a stranger. Why should I share anything with you? To spend idle time with a curious and apparently very friendly bard, I appreciate a good story. In a joyful way. This is a reason I can't resist, my lord. Good. The story, whatever grand one you're expecting, isn't that interesting, though. My mother, poor creature, was raped by an orc. Hmm. That's the reason I, as Moral Chan, have the appearance of a beast, masking a mental quickness equal to my any professor or lawyer. Are you satisfied with your current situation? Yes, I am. I've become an entertainer, the musician kind, you know, and I'm trying to encourage and uplift the downcast and downtrodden. Good luck for that. Hmm. Seems we could do more Fancy with it. yourself a hero. Maybe not. Fierce bodyguard. It's locked. I don't think I should pick that lock in front of the fierce bodyguard. Hey! What are you doing here, human? I warn you, if you're up to any mischief, I will be your punisher. Mischief? Come on, I'm a nice little bunny, believe me. Or hold on, good man, I mean no harm. Look at me, do I look so dangerous? I don't give a flying bat's ass if you're dangerous looking or not. You adventurers are all the same, so please get back. You're guarding someone, yes? He looks down his nose at you. You're definitely guarding something or someone here. Why else on earth would you be here? No answer. I'm leaving now. I don't want to get beat up. I'm not exactly the uh, fighter type. Okay, that's locked. One second. I must buy new strings for my loot. Why isn't this door accessible? Or is it? No? Okay. Alright, so I thought maybe Osman could join me. Potentially he can at some point, I don't know. Lots of little mysteries in a Zoltan Gonda game, which we won't figure out for a while. His quest chains often lead you all around. This was his veteran mercenary, I have to say. I'm not talking to newcomers. How much gold do I have? I don't have an inventory. Oh, look at it this way. Call team left there, dismiss team, trap search, journal, statistics, options, resting. Hmm. I wonder where my where my inventory is. Here we are. Inventory. You'll visit your inventory frequently. Here you can equip, unequip, examine, or even use your items. Some of the written documents have a spectacular graphical add-on so that you can immerse yourself better in our world. These are marked by a small scroll and must be dropped on the spyglass icon in the top right of the bag when it starts pulsating. If you want to discard an item for good, just drop it on the small spiral icon on the left. Okay, that would be there. If you want to use it, drop it on the pulsating potion icon above the inventory. These icons are tabs, breaking the inventory into three categories. The general tip, in order to invoke tooltips, hover the cursor over an item or button and press left shift at the same time. Okay, list of your potions and ingredients. If you have consumable or other usable items, drop it on this icon to use it. A list of your miscellaneous items, including plot critical ones. Also, if you have an item that has a small scroll at the bottom of its left corner, it's inspectable, so you can drop it on this icon. Finally, if you have an unidentified item, you can try identifying it here. A list of your weapons, armor, musical instruments, and offhand items. We have an herb, sideline component, base price 20, weight 0.05. The unassuming arrow aura flower is the basic ingredient of the basic healing potion. Interesting. We're wearing an enchanted kitchen apron, which gives us no stats. The apron can do wonders, maybe even outside the kitchen. It's 
speed bonus plus 5%, additional weight capacity plus 10%, slash pierce, bludgeon pl plus 2, and cold resist plus 10. Okay, those are damage resist, slash pierce, and bludgeon. We don't have a weapon of any type, we don't have much of anything, so let's get out of here. Oh, do we have any money? Okay, daytime. Debuff newcomer. People consider you a stranger, which means some of them won't talk to you, and the prices in shop become abysmal. Spend a little more time around care made, and you won't be a newcomer anymore. Homesickness. Longing for your home has a negative effect on you. You become vulnerable to physical damage, and your incoming healing amplification is compromised. It's powerful, but it's tight. But the time is clicking down, as you see. So that should go away soon. That's a nasty. Nasty damage vulnerability to slash, pierce, and bludgeon. All kinds of other penalties. This is, we're drunk. Grant's type, agility minus one, dex minus one, strength one for 12 hours game time. Environment in, the soothing environment in the inn makes your soul shine and your bar related stats bloom. So we get bonuses while being in the inn, that's pretty cool. Disadvantage rat phobia. You can't stand vermin in general and rats in particular. This must be the result of clearing too many cellars. Your attack chance again will just drop by 20% versus vermin. Seasoned adventurer. The years have made this character strong as the scar tissue which holds him together. His bladder control and ability to survive without food are legendary, as is his ability to sleep sitting up in any weather while wearing a full suit of armor. With maturity, he's learned that there is no hope of saving the universe forever, as ancient evils are always re-arising out of the shadows to replace the ones he vanquishes. Now he directs his entry toward energy toward finding monumental quests that can slake his addiction to thrills and danger. Max HP bonus plus 10. And Archetype Rogue. The undisputed masters of traps, locks, and wells, some of the masters of other people's pockets. That's why they're so contradictory. Well, it's up to you what walk of life you lead. So we get specialties. They're pretty cool. You can look at them. Alright, so all of that matters. So let's get out of this tavern and look around a bit. I guess I don't have any gold. Let's go see if we can find a weapon at least equip ourselves. It's not daytime. Care made guard, hello. Love talking to newcomers. Fortune wheel. This is a wheel of fortune. Are you lucky? Try it. You need a ride ticket to play. You don't feel very lucky today. Beggar. <laughs> Spare a coin, stranger. What you doing here? Isn't it obvious? You seem to be a beggar. You win the prize. Yes, I'm one of the unfortunates who lost all he had in the general collapse of the Shire. Now I'm living off the streets of this hasty camp. You look around. Streets? I mean, these people, the very worst you can find in Euphoria. Most of them have gold coming out of their ears, but they never give you a copper. I can relate. To which part? It's not important. General shop owner, here we go. I'm not talking to newcomers. Okay. Agitated kid. Hello. Bug off, mister. I ain't for sale or rent either. Well, calm down. You act like orcs are after you. Oh, they have been, but I don't trust your kind any better. Actually, I share your opinion of many adventurers. Takes one to know one. This could be tough. You look a little young to be hanging out here alone. Yeah, well, I'm pretty tough, mister. He reads minds, too. No doubt. I only meant that usually there's an older person attached to a young one such as yourself, be you ever so tough. I lost most of my family in the firestorm, mister. I only escaped because I was hurting in Ravenfall Meadows and took refuge in Air Marsh. Hmm, very sad for you then, but most isn't all. Was anyone left? My cousin. He was like a father to me, but now he's gone too. I can relate to that. I don't have a family either. Not even a cat. 
We used to have horses. Sometimes a horse would be handy, and sometimes it would just be a nuisance to feed and care for. It's best to have a stable if you want to have horses. That's what we had, my cousin and me. Your cousin? Yeah, my best cousin. Come on, kid. Good day. Hmm. Where was that stable? Air Marsh, that's the nearest harbor town. It's a big place, didn't get burned down. Air Marsh, a big town. If it's a place at all, it's better than most of the Shire. Well, they have seagoing ships there and docks and real houses, not just the wreck of an old castle. Maybe it qualifies then. What happened to your cousin? We were taking some horses from Air Marsh to a buyer at Argos Care when we were attacked by bandits. They stole our horses and my cousin disappeared. Disappeared? How about you? How did you disappear from this carnage? I hid. Come on, I wouldn't fight those guys. Afterwards, I looked. I couldn't see his body anywhere, so he disappeared, alright? Maybe he's still alive then. Where did he disappear? On the northern road that runs east from Air Marsh. Hmm, it's a hard world. Uh, hmm. That update my journal. Notebook. Hmm. All right, the northern road, and we're going south right now. Pathway to the oh, it is the pathway to the northern road. I'm in no position to fight bandits. I don't even have a weapon, and nobody will talk to newcomers. Let's see what this way. Path to the Valley of Grieve, Grim Gate Guard. <laughs> oh, hail! Nice gate, huh? Nice weather. Huh? Just testing your abilities. What are you testing, hey? Testing your awareness, good guard. Hail. Did you hear what I told you before? About my awareness? Yes. I did. Well, you're not making my job easier. What job? Are you on a quest of some sort? No, I'm trying to communicate with the guard. Do it elsewhere. We don't like that. Let's try something else. Hail. That would be a little dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Cankle stems. Haven't found anything. Oh, what is this? Can I inspect that? Oh, you're gonna give a body and I can't inspect it? Found anything. So I could try it again, but it, it says wait for a bit for the next attempt. And it'll flash when I can try it again. There we go. Haven't found anything. Alright, I give up. No, I don't. Let's go try one more time. Discovered herb. Cankle stems. Let's check out the cankle stems. Brownish cankles are the most potent. This herb is used to create dread muck. Base price 30. So we have a few herbs we can sell. And I can't carry very much because my strength is weak. So that's good to know. I don't even know if I can carry a weapon. And I have to wait for this newcomer to wear off. Which one was it? Debuff newcomer. Spend a little more time around Care Mage, you won't be a newcomer anymore. So I took Rat Phobia. I think you could have changed that at the beginning and taken a different disadvantage, but... Oh, you know what? Before I end this video, let me save here. I think we've been playing for a good amount. Let me head back and do this on camera. Let me quit. Back to reality. Let's try playing it again, and let's try... This wasn't really shown... much. I mean, this wasn't really highlighted in character creation. I kind of skipped over it. I, I should have figured it out when I saw it. But I just kind of... 
left it as is. There's different paths you can start as, and I'm actually going to restart as a different background. I don't know if Seasoned Adventure with a Rat Phobia is what I'm after. So we'll check it out. If I'm right, I think you can change both of those to be something a bit different. So, Like I said, I'm going to do this on camera, so if you don't want to see it, you can just end the video now. But if you want to see the different backgrounds uh, that are available, I think, and stick around for a minute. And in the next, uh, off camera, I'll get back to where I was. I'll clean myself with the water and everything. And, um, get back to that part off camera. Next, let's be a human male. 30, 35. My keyboard not working. There we go. And his name was... Desmond Wells. Desmond Wells the Rogue. Alright, so check this out. I definitely want to restart. I'll just do this as quickly as possible. Now let's look here on this effect stat. So a debuff, okay, you can mess with that. Dif disadvantage. I don't understand what these mean. I guess you just start with a rat phobia and you can decrease it with XP or increase it. Hmm, okay, so I'm not going to restart because I don't actually know what that means. So I thought you could, you know, flip through different disadvantages and things like that. But I'm going to end this video here and pick it up next time. Uh, I just wanted to get through basically character uh, creation and a little bit shown in the first town. Uh, trust me, his games start a little slow. They're definitely going to pick up. There's going to be a lot of action and adventure and loot and leveling up and skill checks and all that awesome stuff. We're definitely going to see it uh, more. So stick with me on this Let's Play. I hope you do. Uh, we're going to play a lot of this game and we're going to see it in and out. So I hope you'll enjoy that and I hope you stick with me. I will see you next time on Game God Fluent. Uh, thanks for watching. Much love, peace, joy, and light to you. And uh, much love, guys. Peace out.